Hi, fourth graders. For our word study unit nine this week, we are talking about ambiguous vowel sounds in accented syllables. And here you can see in blue, we have some of the spelling patterns for the ambiguous vowel sounds that we are gonna be talking about this week. So firstly, I wanna address what you might be thinking, and that is ambiguous? What does ambiguous mean? Well, ambiguous means unclear, or something could have more than one option. So when we talk about ambiguous vowel sounds, we're saying that vowel sounds could either be long, they are neither long nor short. So for the past five weeks, we have taken one vowel every week and learned long spelling patterns for that vowel and short spelling patterns for that vowel or short vowel sounds. But this week we're looking at some vowel patterns, spelling patterns that are neither long nor short. So let's look at some words together that have these spelling patterns and vowel sounds that we're going to be learning about this week. Okay, so the first word that contains one of these ambiguous vowel sounds I want to talk about is the word moisture. And moisture means like water or um, drops of anything wet. So moisture, and moisture has that oi sound with the oi spelling pattern. Oi. When we hear moisture, oi, that's not a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound. That's why we call it ambiguous. So moisture, that oi sound makes the oi sound. The OI spelling pattern makes the OI sound. Now, in the word voyage, we also have that OI, voy, voy, voyage. So we have that same OI sound, but the spelling pattern for this is OY. So if you see an OI or an OY, both of those spelling patterns make that OI sound. And void, to go on a voyage is to go on a long trip. So we have moisture and voyage as two examples of that oi ambiguous vowel sound. Could be spelt with an oi or an oy. But wait, there's more. Another word using an ambiguous vowel sound is drowsy. And drowsy means kind of sleepy and tired and half awake. And so drowsy, we hear the owl sound. It's not a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound. It's kind of ambiguous. And that OW can make that owl sound, drowsy. And also the word counter has that same owl sound, but the OU spelling pattern. So you can see these two are grouped together, OW and OU. So like this is a picture of a kitchen counter. And when we have that word counter, we've got that owl sound in it, counter. Okay, so we have, again, another ambiguous vowel sound. And just when you thought we were finished, here is another curveball. <laughs> there is also another ambiguous vowel sound for the OU spelling pattern. Think about a double cheeseburger, double. We've got that O-U spelling pattern, but it actually makes kind of an ah sound. Double, da, ah, ah, bull. So sometimes the O-U can make that owl sound, like in counter, and sometimes it can kind of make that ah sound and double. So what you might have noticed is that O-I and O-Y have the same sound. They make that oi, ambiguous vowel sound. Different spellings, same sound. OW and OU make that owl sound, drowsy, counter. Same sound, different spelling patterns. And then just to be really confusing, we have OU, same spelling, like in counter, and in double, but there's two different sounds. It could have the owl sound or the ah uh sound. So when you come across a word with that OU sound, you need to say the word to decide which of those um, different sound patterns it has. Now, if it's a word you are not familiar with, 
the tool you could use is dictionary.com. And I'm actually going to take you to dictionary.com to show you how this works. I know Mrs. Hawkins showed you earlier in the year, but here is a refresher. So I'm going to look at a word that we are going to use for our word sort or for day one this week. I'm going to use the word loyal. And if I'm not sure how to say that word or what that word means, I'm going to click on the dictionary.com link here at the bottom of the page. And it is going to open dictionary.com. And you have got space here in the search bar to type in the word. And the word was loyal. So let's do that. And I press enter. It's going to load and it's going to tell me what loyal means. Faithful to one sovereign government or state. Okay, so I've, it's got some definitions of loyal, which kind of is faithful. But here's the thing that will be really helpful for you. Click on this microphone button. Loyal, loyal, loyal. And you can listen to how it's pronounced, and that is going to help you figure out the right sound for when you need to sort it. Now, it's going to be pretty easy. If we are looking at day one and we are looking at the spelling patterns that we get to choose from, there can be O-I for that oi, like moisture, O-Y, that oi sound again, like in voyage, and the O-W, owl sound as in drowsy. That's going to be pretty easy to sort those words, to find the word with the matching spelling pattern. But when you get to a word that has O-U, it could be the O-U as in about or counter, or it could be that O-U sound as in country or double. So you are going to have to listen to the word to figure out which sound it has. And that dictionary.com page can help you with that. So let me read through the words for you too for day one. About. Allow, country, coward, noisy, county, moisture, trouble, employ, poison, annoy, counter, double, loyal, voyage, or drowsy. Those are your day one words to sort. Tomorrow, there will be a very short video for day two reading the list of day two words to help you with the word sort tomorrow. Good luck.